Hi, Roger Wilson here. We're going to work with some chords today, so playing some blues, uh, learning the strumming part a little bit more than the chords. We first started off on some previous lessons with E7th, A7th, and B7th, and then we played it in the order, just using a very sterile, generic 4-4 time, strumming on each beat, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now, what we're going to do now, what, what's really important about playing guitar is a lot of the stuff is done in the left hand. You know, you definitely use your fingering for like playing chords, for, for playing single notes, and then playing a combination of, of chords and single notes. So a lot of what you, you've done is with your, your fretting hand. If you're left-handed, I'm right-handed, so this is my left hand. Um, but the, the part that plays on the frets. And for your strumming hand... A lot of people neglect that. A lot of people think it's there's not much going on. You might just strum some chords or whatever, but the rhythm is very important. The embellishments that you use on the chords, the, the way you attack a note, you might play a, a single note, you know, you might hit it really hard, then you might bring it back to, dynamically to, to lower it. Or the same with chords. You might play the chords real loud like that. Or then you might play, you know, depending on the song. So the dynamics and the sound and the technique you use with your strumming hand is very, very important. Now what I'm going to do here, um, instead of playing the straight four, this is the very generic strum, instead of that, we're going to start off, we're going to do a thing, we're going to play the, play the chord, and you're going to just cut it off, and play it again, and cut it off. Now that sounds very basic and very generic to start off, which it is, but then when you start getting into the rhythm, like... start feeling the rhythm and a little bit of a swing there. It's a little bit more energetic, a little more appealing than just the straight generic 4-4 strum. Now you're not quite, now, like if you if you ever read music before and you read and you know what a rest is, a rest is a is a strict cutoff like that. Instead when the chord sustains, you let it ring. When you're playing it and you rest, it cuts right off. We're kind of in between that. We're just, it's a little bit of an embellishment where you're muting the strings, but still coming back into another chord. So it's like, just like that. I'm going to do a close up here shortly and show you exactly what to do. But, and also on the PDF, you'll be able to read the uh, chords and the little technique for just for muting the string. There's some X's um, that are on the tablature and you'll see those when I show them to you on the PDF. Hi, Roger Wilson here. We're going to work with some chords today, so playing some blues, uh, learning the strumming part a little bit more than the chords. We first started off on some previous lessons with E7th, seventh, A7th, seventh, and B7th, and then we played it in the order, just using a very sterile, generic 4-4 time, strumming on each beat, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now... What we're going to do now, what, what's really important about playing guitar is a lot of the stuff is done in the left hand. You know, you definitely use your fingering for like playing chords, for, for playing single notes, and then playing a combination of, of chords and single notes. So a lot of what you, you've done is with your, your fretting hand. If you're left-handed, I'm right-handed, so this is my left hand, um, but the, the part that plays on the frets. And for your strumming hand... A lot of people neglect that. A lot of people think it's there's not much going on. You might just strum some chords or whatever, but the rhythm is very important. The embellishments that you use on the chords, the, the way you attack a note, you might play a, a single note, you know, you might hit it really hard, then you might bring it back to, dynamically to, to lower it. Or the same with chords. You might play the chords real loud like that. Or then you might play, you know, depending on the song. So the dynamics and the sound and the technique you use with your strumming hand is very, very important. Now what I'm going to do here, um, instead of playing the straight four, just the very generic strum, instead of that, we're going to start off, we're going to do a thing, we're going to play the, play the chord, and you're going to just cut it off, and play it again, and cut it off. Now that sounds very basic and very generic to start off, which it is, but then when you start getting into the rhythm, like... start feeling the rhythm and a little bit of a swing there. It's a little bit more energetic, a 
little bit more appealing than just the straight generic 4-4 four, four strum. Now you're not quite, you know, like if, you, if you've ever read music before and you, re, and you know what a rest is, a rest is a, is a strict cutoff. Like that. Instead, when the chord sustains, you let it ring. When you're playing it and you rest, it cuts right off. We're kind of in between that. We're just—it's a little bit of an embellishment where you're muting the strings, but still coming back into another chord. So it's like, just like that. Now I'm going to do a close-up here shortly and show you exactly what to do. But and also on the PDF, you'll be able to read the uh, chords and the little technique for just for muting the string. There's some X's um, that are on the tablature, and you'll see those when I show them to you on the PDF. But what I'm going to do now is just do the exercise that I'm going to show you. And you're going to play E7. We're going to work on the changes too between E7, A7, and B7. All right? So we got E7, and then A7, back to E7. This is 12 bar blues. So that's kind of a little bit more energetic than it was just playing the strict 4-4. Four, four. I'll do it one more time for you here, a little bit slowly. It'd be like, and we're going to go E7, hold it, and then play E7 again, and then change the A7, hold it, A7 again, back to E7, and then we're going to hit E7 again, and then A7, E7, and then B7, A7. I'll try that one more time for you now. All right. Once again now. E seventh. A seventh. E seventh. A seventh. Seventh, B seventh, A seventh, E seventh. All right, let's look at it close up now. I'll show you the neck of the guitar, and we'll just look at the strumming hand and the picking hand, and we'll just go from there. All right, so here's the close up of the guitar. You got your picking hand, your strumming hand, and your chording hand right here. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna start with E seventh, and we're gonna strum the chord, and then cut it off. Like that. And we get kind of a little bit of a bounce to it, right? All right, then we'll go to the A seventh. Back to the E seventh. B seventh. A seventh. E seventh. And that's just a little way to play it, just to, like exercise. You can just fool around with, you know, playing the chord and then cutting off and hitting it again and just kind of keep a rhythm. Now on the PDF, the PDF just starts out with E7 and it's got the little X's uh, on the tablature lines, on the strings, to where you're just going to mute the strings and then you're going to play the chord again. Then you're going to change to the A7 and then mute it again, play the A7 again, come back to E7, play E7 again, twice, mute it. And you're going to go to A7th, mute it, and then A7th again, hold the A7th, and then back to the E7th, mute it, E7th, E7th, mute it, E7th, B7th, mute the string, B7th to A7th, mute the strings, A7th to E7th, mute the strings, E7th, E7th, mute the strings, and E7th. All right, now that's kind of like sporadic, just kind of showing you what I'm talking about. But on the PDF, here's how it's going to sound. It'll be like one, two, three, four. slow practice tempo. One, two, three, four. All right, 
Okay, here we go again. E seventh. <laughs> Let's look at the PDF, and we'll go through it piece by piece, and just show you the chord, stri uh, chord striking symbol, and then the muting symbol. All right, here we are looking at the PDF right now, and what we're going to do is we're going to see E seventh. Now these little X's on the four middle strings. All that means is you're just going to mute the uh, strings like I was showing you with your uh, strumming hand, and you're going to strum the chord again in E seventh, and you're going to change to the A seventh, and you're going to mute the strings. Come back, play the A seventh again, change to the E seventh. Now the changes are what you got really got to work on. You mute the strings again, play the E seventh again, and the E seventh again, then mute the string. You play the E seventh one more time, but change directly to the A seventh. Mute the strings, play the A seventh, play the A seventh, mute the strings, play A seventh again, back to the E seventh, mute the strings, play the E seventh again, E seventh again, mute the strings. E seventh. This time you're going to change to the B seventh. Then you're going to mute the strings, play the B seventh again, change to the A seventh. Mute the strings, play A seventh, change to E seventh. Mute the strings, play E seventh again, play E seventh, mute the strings, and then end it. And of course you can repeat it over and over. Now, if you're having any trouble with the chord changes, what you want to do is just play like play the E seventh and A seventh. Just go back and forth to work on those changes. Maybe uh, practice going back from the A7 to the E7, reverse the order. Go from the E7 to the B7, work on those changes, because you don't want to stop the meter, you don't want to stop the timing, and uh, that's going to mess everything up. So what you want to do is be consistent, and the slower you start out, the better. So maybe work on the changes from E7, just go back and forth, E7 to B7, so on. Go back and forth from B7 to A7, do that a number of times. And then just kind of work on the changes, and just take your time, and strum it and then try to get a little bit of a uh, kind of a bouncy kind of a feel in there that I was showing you earlier in the other videos. Okay, well that was your PDF and you kind of just take your time and go through back over it, play this, you know, work on the strums, work on the changes, work on the muting and just take your time. And this is a basic uh, way to approach getting a good feel and more of the groove that's uh, in, that's required when you play when you're playing the blues or just playing guitar in general, playing music in general uh, because the strumming hand is a very important part of playing guitar not just the uh, fretting hand. So that concludes this lesson right here. I'm Roger Wilson. Thanks. Have some fun with it. And until next time, keep on picking.